plastic pollution is now considered one of the largest environmental threats facing humans and animals. The material is made to last much longer than a human lifetime, but that also means its impact on the planet lasts a lifetime too. 40% of all plastic, water bottles, bags, straws, and utensils are used only one time before being discarded. Amna Nawaz and producer Lorna Baldwin kick off a series this week about our global plastics problem. And a warning, viewers may find some of the images involving injured animals disturbing. Along coasts across the globe, waves of plastic are washing ashore. This beach in the Dominican Republic is inundated every day. This stretch of sand on Australia's Christmas Island is swamped by debris. Plastic is clogging landfills from Thailand to Kenya. Why? Plastic is virtually indestructible and it doesn't break down easily. But there are also so many different types of plastic, it can be hard or in some cases impossible to recycle. And yet around the world, our appetite for plastic keeps on growing. More than 9 billion metric tons of plastic have been produced since 1950, the weight equivalent of 27,000 Empire State Buildings or more than a billion elephants. Roland Geyer at the University of California, Santa Barbara, is an industrial ecologist who quantified the problem. He says of all that plastic, an estimated 60 percent still exists on Earth today. Of the 9 billion metric tons that humankind ever produced, maybe 20 to 30 percent is still in use, and the rest, so that's about six, six and a half billion metric tons, has become waste. And, and it's ended up in landfills. Ended up either in landfills, in the environment. Um, a tiny fraction was recycled, and then an equally small fraction was incinerated. What can be made with plastics? Cosmetic containers and cockpit housing. Plastic was a new material that transformed the consumer landscape. When large-scale production began after World War II, the potential for growth seemed unlimited. This paratrooper floating down to welcome Mother Earth is depending on plastics to get him there safely. The durable material did and does make some aspects of life more safe. They take better care of little cuts and scratches. Not to mention more convenient. And ultimately, over decades of use, a disposable way of living evolved. It's tough and light. Its future was so limitless that by 1967, Dustin Hoffman was given this career advice in The Graduate. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir, you. Plastics. The plastic problem is so pervasive that our own reporting teams keep running into it around the world. It doesn't matter how isolated the location, plastic has found its way there, as Jeffrey Brown found on Easter Island in the South Pacific. Not a place you'd expect plastic pollution, but this is what was found by a cleanup crew on this rocky beach just in the last few minutes. Scientists say nearly every seabird eats plastic trash, mistaking it for fish. And plastic particles are in many of the fish we eat. The problem, the fish eat that and uh, we eat the fish. Yeah, the fish eat the plastic and then we eat the yeah. fish. Yeah. yeah, and in our blood, maybe exist uh, plastic in the blood. John Yang found out how plastic specifically impacts turtles when he visited the Pacific beaches of Costa Rica with wildlife biologist Helen Feasy. Single-use plastic is an absolute nightmare for turtles. And this is the stuff you've just picked up on the I beach I literally here. just found this here, yeah. yeah. This is a really clean beach and yet wherever you go you find plastic. Plastic gets into the marine environment, it breaks down into tiny little pieces called microplastics and anything that eats in the ocean will, will inadvertently eat plastic. Um, that's killing turtles. Up in Florida they've got a hospital now where instead of when a turtle comes in they no longer say like does the, does the turtle have a plastic in its belly, they now say how much plastic is in the turtle. Oh man. In 2015, a marine biologist's video went viral, documenting the painful process as she removed a plastic straw stuck up a sea turtle's nose. Oh, man. This is becoming more and more common. It's, it's, it's not a one-off anymore. And these are things that we don't need. We don't need single-use plastic. Nobody needs a straw. Like, and if you do need a straw for whatever reason, like your child or something, then you don't need it to be made out of plastic. Now, banning plastic items like straws and bags seems to be all the rage. Cities, municipalities, and companies like Starbucks and Marriott have announced bans are on the way. 
They follow in the footsteps of countries like Rwanda. In 2007, it was one of the first to ban plastic bags countrywide, and it's now considered one of the cleanest places in the world. They can try to keep cleaning forever. But conservationist Max Bello told Jeffrey Brown that's still not enough. Even if we stop today to use plastic, if we stop now, mm -hmm. this plastic that is out there, still we're going to have to deal with it for the next hundreds of thousands of years, maybe, because it's not going to go away. Join us all this week as we take a closer look at how the plastic we use every day is creating problems for our entire planet for generations to come. For the PBS NewsHour in Santa Barbara, California, I'm Amna Nawaz. And tomorrow, Amna will take a look at some potential solutions to the plastics problem.